before painting, it is important to make sure that the fluid in the system is compatible with the paint that is going to be used. Incompatible fluids in paint may cause the valves to become stuck closed, which would require disassembly and cleaning of the sprayer's fluid section. Here are the steps to prepare your fluids. First, turn the pressure control knob fully counterclockwise to the lowest PSI setting. Make sure the pump's on-off switch is in the off position. Fill the fluid section oil cup with approximately one tablespoon of piston lube. Check the engine's oil level. And last, close the fuel shutoff valve and fill the gas tank with 86 octane or higher unleaded gasoline. Now you can prepare the Powerliner 2850 for the paint job. First, place the siphon tube into the five gallon bucket of paint. Place the return hose into the metal waste container. Move the prime spray valve to the prime position. Move the engine on off switch to the on position. Start your engine. To do this, move the fuel shutoff valve lever into the open position. Then move the throttle lever away from the gas tank. Move the engine choke lever to the closed position. Now pull start the engine. Next, slowly turn the pressure control knob clockwise to increase the pressure until fluid starts to come out of the return hose. Use only enough pressure to keep the fluid coming out. Allow 15 to 30 seconds to flush the test fluid through the return hose and into the waste container. Now turn the pressure control knob fully counterclockwise to its lowest setting and turn the pump switch to off. Make sure the spray gun does not have a tip or tip guard installed. Next, move the prime spray valve to the spray position. Turn on the sprayer. Gradually turn the pressure control knob clockwise to the desired PSI setting as you trigger the spray gun into the metal waste container. Continue until all air and water or solvent is flushed from the spray hose and material is flowing freely from the gun. Now here is a bonus tip. To prevent material bounce back from pressure buildup, squeeze the gun trigger into the 5 gallon bucket before switching the prime spray valve to the spray position. Doing this will allow the material to gradually flow out of the spray gun. Now attach the tip guard and the tip to the gun. Then test the spray pattern and line position on a long piece of roofing felt or cardboard. Adjust the pressure control knob until the spray from the gun is completely atomized. Try to keep the pressure control knob at the lowest setting that maintains good atomization. This will save on material costs. Now adjust the gun, up or down, on the gun riser to the desired position. And that's it. Now you're ready to start painting.